There's nothing quite like being fully immersed in a movie, only to be abruptly jolted out of the experience by a poor CGI effect. Let's run through the top 10 worst CGI movie effects of all time. We're not talking about low-budget films here, no. We're focusing on big-budget movies that had all the resources in the world, yet still managed to fall short. The Mummy Returns, Scorpion King Securing the first spot on our list is an effect that attempted to turn Dwayne The Rock Johnson into the fearsome Scorpion King, but failed miserably. It's hard to believe that this was his big break in Hollywood, given the hilariously bad CGI that turned him into a strange hybrid of a man and a scorpion. The effect suffers from the poor decision not to blend The Rock's real face with the CGI. resulting in a fully animated creature reminiscent of a PlayStation 2 game. Go to hell and take your friends with you. Catwoman, CGI actress. This movie attempted to rely on the sex appeal of Halle Berry rather than the story and dialogue to ensure its success. You boys thought you could come in here and steal all these beautiful things. What a purr. However, it failed miserably. Rather than putting the effort into animate Barry in detail, the filmmakers opted to use unconvincing computer-generated effects that removed all the texture from the actress's appearance by covering her in makeup. This decision, along with the awkward movements, made the subpar cityscape animation look better by comparison. Yes, why? It's overtime. I am Legend, Dark Seekers. Dark Seekers. Budget Hollywood blockbuster with a massive $150 million budget and a superstar like Will Smith in the lead role. <laughs> That sounds like a recipe for success, right? Well, unfortunately, there's one thing that didn't quite live up to the hype, the villains. We're talking about those bald, vampire-like creatures with weirdly hinged jaws. Let's be real, they just weren't very convincing, and definitely not very scary. It's hard to get emotionally invested in a movie when the special effects are so digitized that they completely remove you from the action. And let's not forget, these dark seekers were basically just zombies. Surely they could have hired a few real actors to play those roles? It's a missed opportunity, and an otherwise promising blockbuster. Ultraviolet Motorbike Chase In the year 2078, you'd expect movie visuals to be out of this world, but in this particular film, they fell far short of expectations. Despite the hype and anticipation, the graphics were underwhelming and lifeless, leaving audiences feeling let down. It's a shame because, in a movie set in the future, you'd think the visual effects would be a major selling point. Instead, they looked like they belonged in a second-tier video game, lacking polish and realism. Indiana Jones in the Kingdom of the Crystal Skull, monkeying around. Let's talk about the infamous fourth installment of the Indiana Jones franchise, Kingdom of the Crystal Skull. In this particular scene, our hero finds himself swinging through the jungle with a group of monkeys. Now, as you may have guessed, these monkeys were not real. They were created using CGI. While the use of CGI can sometimes enhance a movie, in this case, it fell flat. The scene was so poorly animated that they were almost comical and certainly not convincing. That's for Daniel, Dr. Jones. The Matrix Reloaded. The Agent Smith Battle. Surprised to see me? No. 
Lightning. On our list, we have a trilogy that is widely hailed for its groundbreaking special effects. However, even the most iconic franchise can stumble, and this one did just that in a particularly epic CGI battle. You probably know the scene we're talking about, Neo taking on a seemingly endless horde of Agent Smiths. At first, it's an impressive spectacle. <laughs> But as the fight wears on, things start to look more and more fake. It's almost as if the special effects team gave up on realism and decided to go full on plastic. Maybe they were running out of time, or maybe they just lost interest. King Kong Brontosaurus Stampede In this particular scene, the actors find themselves in the middle of a stampede of brontosauruses. Problem? The CGI just isn't convincing enough. Instead of feeling like they're in the middle of a dinosaur stampede, <laughs> the actors look like they're running in front of a green screen. It's a classic case of the uncanny valley, when something looks almost, but not quite real. Along came a spider. Car crash. We see an undercover cop posing as the date of a murder suspect, trying to gather information to solve the case. It's an intriguing premise, but things get a little weird when the film progresses. I think you're a natural born cocksucker. And I think it's time you did what you were born to do. Things only get quite off, with strange physics defying car accident events and surreal imagery that can be hard to make sense of. Die Another Day Surfs Up A cringe-worthy moment when Bond finds himself surfing away. It was entirely CGI, and Bond's body movements were completely unrealistic. It's a classic case of trying to do too much with visual effects without considering whether or not it's actually possible to make it look convincing. The Ring 2 – Deer Attack oh. Boy is relentlessly pursued by a creepy girl from a cursed videotape. As the story unfolds, we witness a series of bizarre and deadly events, including a terrifying deer attack. Get down! But despite the potential of terror, this particular scene falls short in two major ways. Firstly, it's hard to make sense of what's happening, and secondly, the deer just looks plain fake. Despite their best efforts to make the animals look realistic, their attempts ultimately fall flat. Did our list hit the mark? Which CGI blunder made you cringe the most? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and bell icon for more videos.